Today, I'm in the kitchen with my niece, Lauren, and my nephew, Jordan. And we're yeah. cooking recipes yeah. that the kids are sure to love. Yum. First, I've got some cute and tasty porcupine balls. Does that look like a porcupine or what? A storybook classic, green eggs and ham. I know I'd like me some, Paula I am. Mmm, mmm. Do you want to know what we're making next? How about a super cheesy quesadilla? Give it to me and for, for the dessert, pop. a Give special it to me treat. For the pop. Delicious and healthy yogurt pops. Has your auntie impressed y'all? Yes, ma'am. <gasps> Yay. <laughs> well, listen, we are making one of Jamie and Bobby's favorite recipes. Porcupine, porcupine balls. balls. Yes. You know why it's called porcupine balls? Yeah, ma'am. Because we are going to put rice in hamburger and make them into like meatballs. And when we bake them, that rice puffs up and it looks like porcupines. That's so cool. let's get, that's cool, isn't it? Tell me about the sauce that you're going to make, Jordan. Tell all the kids out 14. there. 14.5 ounces of diced tomatoes. That's right. And 14 ounces of beef Run, get broth. your hamburger meat, sweetie. Get your hamburger meat out. And this is going to be so easy. Now, you can just dump that right in here. Lauren, you throw the hamburger meat in our bowl. How much meat is that, Lauren? One pound. So do y'all ever get in the kitchen and help Mama? Sometimes. Oh, good. All right, Jordan, put us a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of minced onion, and a teaspoon of seasoned salt. All right, start just mixing that up with your hands, Lauren. All right, now, Jordan, what, what I want you to do here is put like three quarters of a cup of rice. You got it, baby, you got it. What grade are you in now, Jordan? Eighth. Eighth grade. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe it. Your mother and daddy's getting so old. <laughs> All right, now stir that up. And, Lauren, I'm just going to measure out a half a cup of rice. You mix that in your meatballs. That looks good, Jordan. How old were you when you first started cooking, Aunt Paula? You know, believe it or not, Jordan, it was after I married. The first time I was married, before I married your Uncle Mike, I was just 18 years old. Wow. But that's when I started cooking. Can you believe that's just four years older than what you are right now? No, ma'am. Can you imagine getting married in four years? <laughs> My parents would kill me. Ah, uh, you know what? And I would help them. <laughs> now, look here. We're going to roll our balls about the size of golf balls, and we should be able to have nine of these. So, Jordan, if you'll help us start rolling. OK. We've got two, four, six, eight, nine. Perfect. So what we're going to do is just nestle those down in that tomato juice and beef broth and rice. All right, so Lauren, you can wash your hands, sweetie. And while y'all are doing that, I'm gonna put some tin foil on it. And we're gonna get this in the oven. So 350, y'all, for an hour. All right, let me wash my hands. And y'all move on down to the other end of the counter because we are gonna fix us a dessert. So what do y'all think about some yummy yogurt pops? Give it to me for the pop. Give it to me for the pops. <laughs> All right. Jordan, I need for you to take a fourth of a cup of orange juice and put it in all three of our bowls. Yes. We're going to make three different flavors here. And what I need for you to do, Lauren, is put a tablespoon of honey in each bowl, OK? I'll help you squeeze. There you go. One tablespoon. Use your fingers, girl. Use your fingers. And then move right on down here to my bowl. There we go. Last bowl, last bowl. Last bowl is a monkey who gets to the hole. <laughs> All right, Lauren, take that to the sink, sweetie, and uh, wash your hands. All right, Jordan, take your little whisk and just and whisk up your honey and your juice together. That honey is going to naturally sweeten the yogurt and the orange juice, which is a good thing y'all won't be eating sugar. 
And I'm gonna okay. go ahead and do Lauren's for her. And then all you have to do now is take your yogurt and scoop it into our sweetened juice. And then we're gonna whisk it again. Do y'all ever watch your auntie on TV? Yes, yes. ma'am. Y'all do? I didn't know that. What's your favorite show? I think this one, because... This one? <laughs> you're talking about the one you're on today? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> that said like a true groover. You sound like your Uncle Mike. All right, here we go. Three cups for you. Three cups That's for me. Good. Three cups for me. It's good, you like it? Yes. All righty. All right, now you've got um, cherry, I've got pineapple, and you've got blueberry. Okay. So in our cups this goes, and then we're gonna put them in the freezer, and we're gonna let these get semi-frozen, and then we're gonna pull them out, we're gonna put our popsicle sticks, because these are gonna become popsicles. And it's probably gonna take about four hours for these to freeze. All right, mine are ready. All right, I'm gonna get us a pan, y'all. It tastes really good. You like it? Yes, ma'am. Good. We're gonna just take our pan and sit them in here. All right, Jordan, go put this in the freezer. Yes, ma'am. And we're gonna take a quick break from everybody. So look in there and tell everybody. We'll be back in a minute. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Next, a storybook classic comes to life. We have got green eggs, y'all. And later, there's another groover in the kitchen cooking up some quesadillas. Who is that? Uncle Mike. <laughs> Uncle Mike, I love it! I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm in here in the kitchen today with my niece and nephew, Jordan and Lauren, and we're cooking from Paula Dean's My First Cookbook. So start on your toast, y'all. Start on your toast. You got a lot of work to do because we're fixing to make green eggs and ham together. Y'all, Lauren and Jordan are using some of my antique cookie cutters on some white bread. Jordan and Lauren are spelling out their name. All right, oh. so how are y'all coming? Look, Lauren. All right, so we got the A. Oh, I love the toast. So y'all be working on that. And I'm gonna be coming down here and I'm gonna be working on your green eggs and ham because I'm gonna need to chop up our ham and I'm using Probably about eight ounces. Can you really make green eggs and ham? Of course you can. You know that we can. You've lived here your whole life, and you know how big St. Patrick's Day is around yes, here, don't you? Here in Savannah, we have the second largest celebration of St. Patrick's Day, second only to New York City. So everything in this city turns green, including our grits and our eggs. So. I'm gonna turn on our eye, and I'm gonna let our pan start heating up. And how are y'all coming? Good. There we go, look! L-A-U-R-E-N. I love it. Okay, Jordan, come on, buddy. Look at that, isn't that cute? All right, so I've got our pan getting hot, y'all. So Jordan, are you through with your name yet? I got Jorda. Okay, we'll get you an in, and uh, Lauren, you come down here and crack our eggs, sweetie. All right, I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of butter in our frying pan, and then I'm gonna put our ham in. So we're gonna cook that up. You've read uh, Green Eggs and Ham, hadn't y'all? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Did y'all like it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You know, when Jamie and Bobby were little, uh, I used to get them Dr. Seuss books. All right, Jordan? Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and get that in the oven. Okay. Because we're gonna have to toast these off. Look at that, I love it. Lauren and Jordan, do you like it? Yes. Has your auntie impressed y'all? Yes, ma'am. <gasps> Yay. All right, 
So in the oven it goes. All right, Lauren, give that to Jordan. And while he's beating, you add a little pepper and a little salt to it, okay? Come on, Jordan, beat it, baby. Beat it, beat it, beat it. You take art at school. You've done the color wheel. Yes, ma'am. So tell me, Lauren, what colors do you need to make the color green? Yellow and blue. That's exactly right. We've got the yellow from the eggs, so we're gonna add blue food coloring. How much? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I always say that you can add two, but you can't take out. So okay. let's start with just a little bit, okay? All right, beat that up and see what you've got. And see if that's the color you like. You can make this as green as you want to. What do you think? Looks good. You think so? Okie doke. Whoa! <laughs> Our ham is talking to us. So we're ready for y'all to pour our eggs over our ham. We have got green eggs, y'all. All right. Now what we need to do, y'all come on over here. So what we want to do is you see our eggs yes, are starting now. to get done. So what you want to do is just pull them back from your pan like that. And let the raw part of that egg get down in there. So you do that, Jordan. Look, Aunt Paul, I'm cooking. Yes, you are cooking. You cooking with gas. <laughs> and once you get the raw over on the edges, then you can kind of just toss them over. There you go. Those are looking awfully good. Yes, ma'am. All right, so let's turn that heat off. And we've got our plates over here. I'm gonna dip us up some eggs, and there's our fork. Ooh, doesn't that look good? So I'm gonna get our toast out. And I'm gonna take this off the sheet for y'all because, ow, <laughs> because our sheet is hot. J-O-R-D-A-N-L-A-U-R-E-N. And Annie will have a dog bone. <laughs> So y'all taste and tell me what you think. Mmm. What do you think? You like it? Yes. You smell. Mmm. They're delicious. Aren't they delicious? Y'all did a grand job. They're yummy. Good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm so glad y'all are here with me today. Eat up, and then we're gonna clean up and do you want to know what we're making next? Coming up, we're making quesadillas with personality. Oh, I love that. He's got green eyes, y'all. And later, some sweet and healthy treats for my three sweets. You got a kiss for Auntie? Yes. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. So let's get started on those quesadillas. All right, now I want to show you something, Jordan. You're fixing to break the cheese. Okay. You want to take your cheese, hold it like this, and bring it down. The only thing you want to be careful is you don't get your fingers or your knuckles. Yes, ma'am. All right, Lauren. We've got our yogurt pops, and they have gotten kind of semi-hard. So all we're gonna do is stick. Hey, y'all. Well, Uncle Mike, hey. where have you been? Uh, I've been all on right. my motorcycle. Have you? Yes. Were you cutting the cheese? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making? Popsicles. We are making yogurt pops, Uncle Mike. Oh, good. And we're fixing to get these back in the freezer. You are gonna love these because Uncle Mike's got a big sweet tooth, doesn't he? All right, let's put these back in the freezer, sweetie, in that bottom drawer. All right, Uncle Mike. Uh huh. We're making cheese quesadillas. I know it. All right, I'm gonna turn our griddle on. How you coming with it? Oh, Jordan, you got it down. Perfect. You have got that down good. All right, Lauren, down here we have onions, we have 
pico de gallo sauce. We've got our sour cream. And we've got a wonderful guacamole dip. Do you like all those things? Yes. I do, too. How about you? You like all those? Yes, sir. Good. All right. So what we're going to do, y'all, is mm -hmm. we're going to take a little bit of butter and put on our skillet. And I'm using our hoe cake pan. This is what I make Uncle Mikey lace hoe cakes on. All right, so what we're gonna do is brown that off. And now, Uncle Mike, all you have to do is put some cheese on this side and then fold it over. Okay, so deal. All right, these don't take long to make at all. You just wanna lightly brown them long enough for your cheese to melt. Okay, I think this one's ready. Okay, pass us a plate. Lauren, can you grab a plate, sweetie? You ready? Yes. There you go. Let's see about this one. I need to flip this one. Yep, perfect. That looks easy. You think it's ready? It's ready? Yes. Okay, Jordan, let's do another one. We're getting the hang of it now. All right, now, Lauren, you get to decorating your quesadilla. So you want to see if you can make a face or something? Yes. Yeah. All right, well, you know what? I bet you could use a popsicle stick and paint with that. Okay. So go ahead. I want to see what you're going to paint while Curly and Larry are down there cooking up some more. <laughs> uh, She's making fun of us. Oh, I love that. He's got green eyes, y'all. All right, I think another one's ready, Jordan. Okie doke. Okay. We are coming right along. All right, Jordan, come on down here and let's see what you can do. Let's see how talented you are in the art department. Oh, you gonna give him some green teeth, Lauren? Mm hmm <laughs> I love it. Now, Jordan, what are you making? A face. A face. I love it. Hmm. Who is that? Uncle Mike. <laughs> Uncle Mike, I love it. He sure does have a wide face. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I'm going to take these, and I'm going to cut some into triangles. And I'm going to pile them up here. Let's see what I like. I think I like sour cream on mine. I love guacamole. I love some green onions. So what have you done, Jordan? A side view of Uncle Mike. A side view <laughs> of Uncle Mike. <laughs> Let me see it. That's your I ear. I love it. Mmm. <laughs> Very good, Aunt Paula. Oh, I'm so glad you like them. Thank you, too, Uncle Mike. That's because I made them. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without Uncle oh, Mike, no. could we have? <laughs> Oh, ma'am. Coming up, our porcupine balls are ready for tasting. Great time of day, that's good. And we'll see if our popsicles get the Groover approval. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Hey, y'all, welcome back. Uncle Mike just joined us. You know what? Uncle Mike has got a good habit of showing up when it's time to eat. We have cooked up some wonderful porky pine balls, Uncle Michael. So why don't you get those out of the oven for us? I'll do it. Come on, Jordan. All right, let's look. Let's look. <gasps> look! Oh, Why'd I tell you? Does that look like a porcupine or what? Let me grab some pork. What do you think, Jordan? Yes, ma'am. I've impressed you, hey. Yes, ma'am. Why don't we take it down there, Michael? You want to? Yeah, okay. let's take it down there by the bowls. All right. I'm stick. So we don't have to worry about anybody getting Go burned. On. So there we go. We'll Go need on. a spoon, and I'll dip us up a porcupine. All right, now we've got a little fresh grated Parmesan cheese you can put on it. A little parsley for color. Bye, well, Lauren, you love it? Yes, sir. Mmm. This is delicious. I'm so glad. Very, 
Mm, mm. Good. So you can impress mom and daddy one night and maybe cook supper for them. How about that? Well, Uncle Mike, you ready for dessert? I am. What we got? We made some wonderful little yogurt pops earlier. Oh, yeah. They're it's so cold. good, in fact. It's, it's cold. Very cold. All right. Now, this is blueberry, uh -huh. this is cherry, and this is pineapple. So choose your flavor. Tell them your name. What kind you want? Cherry. What you want, Lauren? Pineapple. Ball? Okay. I'll take blueberry. Blueberry. I'll have cherry. OK, so just take your paper cup. Peel it off. Tear it and peel it off. It's a deal. Is that a deal, Lucille? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. This is a healthy snack. Mm, they're good, too. It's been fun today, hasn't it? Yes, ma'am. You got a kiss for Auntie? Yes. You got a kiss for Auntie? <laughs> Do you kiss girls? How about Uncle Mike? <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me. <laughs> We always send y'all love and best dishes from our kitchen to y'all's. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>